the Bureau of Engineering came back and explained to me that the bridge is the one that is most at danger of collapsing uh, with a significant earthquake. And I said, well, you know what, despite that, why don't you go out and double check it, and triple check it. So they brought experts from across the country. And we asked them, can you repair this bridge to last for another 100 years? And it was unanimous from this panel that you couldn't. Bridges have a lifespan. They have a service life based on the materials that were used at the time they were constructed. If we were to rehabilitate the bridge and retrofit it, how many more years would this bridge have of remaining service life? And if we do a cost comparison, maybe it only has 15 years of service life remaining, and then we'd have to rebuild the bridge. Maybe it's better to rebuild it now. The debate was, do you replicate a structure like that because it's so iconic, or do we try to create something that is going to uh, celebrate its own time period? The next decision was, how do we best honor this extraordinary collection of bridges? And in discussion, it seemed much as Merrill Butler had done, it seemed best to build this new bridge, the new viaduct, in keeping with current design potentials and current materials. So I went from, no way are we gonna tear down the bridge, or let's replicate it, to let's just get a blank piece of paper and see what's possible. The result was an international design competition for the replacement of the Sixth Street Viaduct. Welcome to the Sixth Street Viaduct Design Competition. Mayor Villaraigosa and Councilman Wiesar have encouraged us to dream and to reach for the stars. And I think with these three designs, it's going to be a very, very difficult choice to pick just one. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and uh, we wanted their best and brightest thinking to come forward. Why not create an iconic bridge that thinks about the modern Los Angeles, the future Los Angeles? And that was a real game changer because that brought in so many concepts, ideas, and possibilities. And after consideration of nine proposals, three finalists, a series of public meetings and design panels, the city selected a winning design for the new viaduct. When the team, HNTB and Michael Malson Architects, uh, presented their design concept, they stood at the uh, board and literally drew a ribbon of arches on a piece of white paper and said, here's the basic concept. So it was a wonderful, simple drawing, you know, just a ribbon of arches stretching from east to west which will give it a very strong presence on the skyline and pays homage to the arches of the existing the historic viaduct. 